Welcome to this uh, Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, we're going to answer some Windows 10 questions. We're going to have some discussion also. A lot of people are asking my opinion of uh, different things. So on the opinion side, a lot of you are asking me if I, um, for example, what I think of how Windows 11 came out of nowhere and Windows 10 uh, did have a few changes for a while and how all of that um, you know is coming through well one of the first things is that there were actually some changes you know in the insider rings and then of course in the windows 10 system itself they started pushing a few changes that we of course thought was what's slowly coming as sun valley and and everybody was convinced the windows 10 sun valley was the thing and I even think Microsoft itself kind of talked about Windows 10 Sun Valley at some point. And of course, there were some new icons and new changes. They did uh, play around a little bit with the new types of icons and, uh, you know, how, what, how they look and how they feel. And uh, they modernized some of these icons this year. They uh, also have changed some of the things like in the settings app, for example where the icons and the way that it's uh, displayed are, were also updated in, um, in this year. And we all probably fell for the fact that this probably is what's coming slowly as, um, you know, Sun Valley. And we had seen a few months ago, way before Windows 11 actually was announced officially, that uh, there was new icons and stuff. And they seem to all be to you know, be things that are, were coming to Windows 10 and suddenly, nope, it's not happening. It's obvious, in my opinion, that Microsoft went from, um, we're going to have Windows 10 big user interface change to, why don't we just do Windows 11 instead? And, you know, it's, it's going to be Windows 11 is going to have all this stuff. So I, it's, it was really a, definitely a last-minute decision, uh, that's for sure. Also, a lot of people are asking me about what I think of, because there's a lot of people that you know will comment that, the, that Windows 10 is buggy, unstable, has blue screens. Uh, I see that comment regularly. And I will always reply to that, uh, first of all, Windows 10 is rock solid. It ain't buggy, and it ain't a system that freezes or has blue screens. Um, I've run it on so many machines, and I'm running it right now, still on three. It ain't at all buggy, at all. I have no glitches at all, no problems at all on Windows 10. And the majority of people don't. The majority of people don't have any problems. Um, remember that people that have a good experience are not the ones that are talking on the you know different blog posts and are commenting. They're the quiet, the quiet people. So the majority of people being okay with Windows 10 having no problems, they're not the ones we see comments. We see comments about the small percentage that have issues. And the thing is, 95%, if not more, of all bugginess in Windows is always something else. It's not Windows. As a tech guy, rarely have seen a problem being caused by windows itself it's always what you have on your pc the things you installed you know a lot of people still think we need these optimizers of all kinds and these uh you know driver updater programs no you leave windows alone the, if when you do that you're actually creating problems on your pc over time these software are useless and shouldn't even exist there is no need for anything optimizing in Windows. And a lot of people get into problems because of the optimizers most of the time, because of the driver updaters most of the time, because they add software that's really that's crapware. That is software that is more buggy than anything else or creates problems in Windows more than anything else. The other category being bad drivers, there's a lot of that going on. When people say, well, you know, I just paid $2,000 for my PC. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't matter how much you paid for your PC. 
a bad driver is a bad driver and every manufacturer can issue a bad driver about something and then when those starts being unstable of course for most people and and most people with little knowledge of windows in general will just say well oh it's windows you know blue screens all the time oh this thing is crap it doesn't work windows 10 is buggy it's not your problem is in the windows side or in the driver side or in the hardware side of your pc bad hardware also exists there are chips that actually go faulty over time and add to that you know possible ram problems and so on um that small minority of people that have issues well they're the vocal ones they're the ones we see all the time complaining about problems uh, it's not to say that windows doesn't have little things here and there because obviously there are bug fixes every month so there could be something out of the blue that's kind of weird for some specific hardware but a lot of this stuff is actually fixed by the manufacturers themselves for example on windows 11 the the amd bug for because it's slow is not even a that fix that will come is not a microsoft fix it's an amd fix amd is actually releasing and will be included in that uh, windows update with bug fixes uh, amd is fixing the problem it's not a windows problem it's the way windows optimizes everything it seems that it creates a problem with the AMD chip. That's all. So, you know, uh, we got to be careful with the image and what we perceive in reality also. As for future, I get a lot of questions about the future. Um, a lot of people are stuck at, well, you know, um, Windows 11 is 21H2. And so that means that there won't be a Windows 10 21H2. Well, you got to understand that 21H2 is a date. It's a number that simply means a time period. People, for some reason, associate 21H2 with Windows 10. And it's not. They could have five different operating systems all saying 21H2 if they were released on the second half of the year so this is windows 11 21 h2 it means it's the second you know the update for the second half of 20 of 2021 for windows 11 and there's also a um something coming up as a cumulative update and it is being tested we know it's there it's being tested in release preview 21 h2 simply means the time period of a release of an update so windows 10 21 h2 is also something 21H2 is not a version of a specific version of Windows. It's a version of a of Windows, simply depending whatever Windows you're having. So Windows 11 or Windows 10 each are entitled to 21H2. Like they're all each entitled to have 22H1. Simply means the time frame or the time period where it was updated with what they call major feature updates. And I think that mixing that mixes a lot of people up thinking that um, 21H2 is, uh, is Windows 11, not Windows 10, You're not getting anything. But that 21H2, we already know, is has very few new features. You know, it's a couple of things I talked about it, uh, I think it was last week or the week before. And um, so, you know, just a slight three or four new new things and that's it and, and they're not even major things that people are going to notice uh, the other thing about the future of windows a lot of people are asking me well you think new icons or new apps like in windows 11 are going to come to windows 10 um i i honestly have my doubts that they will ever happen and and the reason is windows 11 is the new focus for microsoft but it's interesting because let's take our um are uh, the audience of Windows in general. The majority of people on Windows are either enterprise or very regular folks that just use a PC because they need a computer and they need it to do whatever they need to do with, with it, and that's it. These people don't care about new features. They never cared about the feature updates. Actually, feature updates was much more of a hassle than anything else. And that's for the majority of people. They're happy now that, that things are going to be probably very quiet. 
the tech enthusiasts are the ones that are unhappy with Windows 10 not getting a lot of the new stuff now. Um, the tech enthusiasts wanted to have, you know, the um, the updates, the the Sun Valley feel and look of the user interface because tech enthusiasts are a different breed. We're different types of people. We're not in the same league as the regular folks using Windows every day that just don't care about the new stuff. So for people with, especially the, the ones that have unsupported software, uh, hardware, um, I, I get that some are mad that they, they're not gonna see that happening in Windows 10. But honestly, it's a good thing. Windows 10 will just have small updates probably and that's it. A lot of questions of people saying, well, is 22H1 something? Is 22H2 something for Windows 10? Um, maybe, maybe not. And that, that is a very, very, um, it's a question that Microsoft just doesn't at all answer. And if they don't answer it, it's kind of telling us, well, either they're thinking about it, if there's going to be something or not, either they probably dropped it and so there's not going to have anything. Uh, you know, I'll say it again. Microsoft is way too... Uh, secretive about these things I don't understand why because I just don't get it there's no you know if you blurt out right now yeah there's gonna be a 22 h1 it's gonna be minor so we know and uh, you know we'll know it's minor and what does it change it's very very weird how Microsoft is unable to communicate anything um, you know I would have I would get it in the times when say Windows 95 and in Mac there was some kind of big uh, competition or almost a war between a Mac and a PC. It's not the case anymore. Uh, it's, it, you know, this, this is, um, I think it's almost as if it's an old way of thinking at Microsoft that, that needs to change, obviously. So we don't know what's up for uh, next year in Windows 10. And if there are, they're probably going to be very small updates, cumulative updates. I um, want to make clear again, because I get a lot of people saying, well, you know, I'm hearing everywhere that Windows 10 support is ending next year or the year after, or it's soon. And that's because a lot of people are just talking about, uh, you know, just saying whatever they, they think is, is, is going to happen and have absolutely no uh, knowledge and no idea of the reality of, of what uh, Windows 10 uh, is all about. And there's a lot of that on YouTube, by the way. And a lot of people are like, well, no, Windows 10 uh, support is ending. I heard Microsoft say it. Yeah, right. Uh, you know, false information, fake news. There's a lot of that even in the Windows and the computer PC side of things. Um, Windows 10, and that was clear from the start, from July of 2015 when it was released, that they had 10-year support. It was clear from the start, 10-year support. 10 years support meant that Windows 10, and it's still the case, is supported until the end of 2025, four years from now. So that is a thing. There's going to be bug fixes and patch Tuesday security updates until 2025. No, there's no worry. You got four years. Um, you know, a lot of things can happen in four years. Like I said in the many videos, your PC might not even be working in four years. You might have a new computer in four years. Chances are quite high that you might have a new PC in four years, uh, especially if your PC is already five, five, six, seven years old. Um, you know, that is um, going to be happening like that. And, and in that time frame, you'll have Windows 11. Um, I still think most people that are going crazy over the fact that their PC is unsupported um, uh, think that, okay, this is the, the time for the huge movement to Linux. I can tell you Linux won't budge. It won't have more people. It's not like that. Um, people are, are reacting as if today we have Windows 11. I'm not supported. So uh, Microsoft has abandoned me. Nope. Your Windows 10 is still working for four years. Your computer is still going to work for the next four years. And... Um, if you ask regular folks, Linux, they're all going to say, what the hell's that? If you ask 
um, enterprise, they're all going to say, are you crazy? We're not moving to Linux uh, because it's too big of a change. And regular folks, they don't care. Their PC runs, Windows 10 runs. All the people that say, well, now I'm moving to Linux, that's it. You know, they're probably already Linux fanboys that are already in Linux. And they're trying to convince the world that Linux is going to be that big next new thing. Linux will never be that big next new thing. It is the underneath code of many things, including uh, Chromebooks and, and, you know, um, and, and Android and so on. So it's not that it's not used. It's just used in a different way because Linux as it is in general for most regular folks is unusable. It's they won't be, they won't be doing what they want. They won't understand anything about how the whole thing works. They might, you know, for some people, and most people that actually are talking about how regular folks could use Linux easily are people that are more advanced than the majority of uh, computer users. And I can tell you, because I get this all the time, so all computer users today are way more advanced than you think. No, they're not. I've been to tech for 15 years, and I look at some people around me. Nope, they're not. They're not more knowledgeable about computers today as they were 20 years ago. It's not the case. Um, if you know Linux and you, if you dabble or have tried it, you're already more advanced than a lot of people that use PCs. It's the way it is. And so there won't be a nudge or a bug, you know, like a, 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 people are going to flock to Linux now. Nope. People are going to flock to other things. Before peop, a, a, a regular folk goes to Linux, they're going to be using some other device and, and computers or PCs are going to be thing of the past they won't need that anymore though there are more you know there are going to be more people going well maybe i need a tablet i'll use either android or or they'll go to ios and use an ipad stuff like that they might be just using their smartphone um the trend is to that the trend is not to the pc future it's to other devices as time goes by um, and that is clear. And, um, you know, most of the people that, that are here and say, well, now it's the time for Linux. And now I can see so many people on Linux. Nope, there won't be. Uh, you won't even see a change in the amount of people going to Linux. Uh, every time there's a new operating system, a new Windows that has some specifics um, for hardware that, that pushes away a lot of the computers, there's never been a move to Linux or Mac because of that. There's simply been, as time goes by, computers get replaced. People just move on. Uh, but that said, I don't predict Windows 11 ever getting or going to the amount of people using Windows 10 that, like we have now, 1.3 billion machines. And that's not because people are going to move to Linux or Mac. That's because because people are going to move away from a PC and use other devices because that's the trend of the future. Um, you know, if you use Linux, you're a different, like a tech enthusiast, you're a different breed of, of, of user. So, you know, um, hang on. And that's pretty much what I have to say on that. As for the rest, when people, you know, I, I saw a couple of people, it's like, well, I have this problem where this thing is, and all you say is, who cares and wait? Well, that's not a solution. What a bad video. It's like, so you already have con contradictions or possible problems, and you still want to move on to Windows 11? Um, I think you're the one not really thinking and and thinking it properly. It's, it's as simple as that. Um, you just stay on Windows 10. Who cares about Windows 11? Uh, and the majority of people don't care about Windows 11. It's it's already a fact. So uh, it's it's just I find it funny the way that people go and start ranting and going crazy over the fact that that my PC is not compatible or it's who cares? You're you're on Windows 10. That's it. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.